Okay, everybody, I wanted to come and spread a little word <clears throat> this morning, give a little insight. So, this is what the Lord put on my heart to let you guys know. <clears throat> so, you breathe every day, and today you woke up, and you're able to watch these TikTok videos. That's a blessing. Do you see the many things that are happening in the entire world that would end our spirits today in our flesh? The natural disasters. People unaliving each other. Suicide. Car accidents boat accident, execution, drowning, anything that will cause great bodily harm to the point where we no longer exist in our bodies. Every day we get through that, every second, every moment, every hour that we go through this world and we able to go to sleep and wake back up and still have life that's a blessing for all we know we can step outside on my porch and a bird can crash right into my head and I die there's a lot of things working against us our human selves and yet we wake up every day thinking we're supposed to breathe we're supposed to live life the devil is working against us in so many ways. And outside of that, the natural disasters that's happen, um, happening, let alone the stuff that we put in our bodies, the food is corrupt, the drinks are corrupt. You can do your own gardening. Your food is still corrupt. It's still not beneficial to the body because of the things that they're putting in the air chemtrails that falls on the dirt and you grow your vegetables and you ingest it we're wondering now why are we bigger in size as we get older even even young young people are bigger but the things that they're injecting our meats and vegetables with for pre um, preservation if they're doing it in that type of organism, what do you think is going to happen within our bodies? So, my word today, the advice provided on to me is to say, be thankful for your life. Because we got a lot of things working against us on a day-to-day -day basis. <clears throat> I just watched um, how this guy went inside of a church and wanted to, you know, try to uh, point his weapon to the pastor. They said the weapon was jammed. We live in an environment where demonic influence is taking over. You can be at work, things can happen. So every day that you walk from a catastrophe Every day that you were able to live to see another day, be thankful. Know that you're sheltered. Know that the Lord has his arms around you. We had a lot of things happening out here. Serial killers, serial rapists. And if you're living day to day being untouched, know that the Lord's hands is on you. That's my message for today.